Hey guys, welcome back to Bronze's Math Club. Today's topic is factoring x squared plus bx plus c when b is greater than zero and c is also greater than zero. So basically, we're going to be having a trinomial that's going to have x squared plus bx plus c. Now, in this trinomial, b is going to be greater than zero. All right, so that means b is going to be a positive number. Also, we're going to have c as greater than 0. That means that c is also going to be a positive number. So first, let's go and write a trinomial that is uh, that is same as x squared plus bx plus c. And an example of that would be x squared plus bx, I mean x squared plus 6x plus 9, all right? So if we have 6 as the b, and we know that uh, 6 is greater than 0, so it also is a positive number. And we have 9 as a c, so it is greater than 0, and is also a positive number. So to factor this, well, first we're going to go ahead and put two parentheses, because we know that we're, to factor this trinomial, we're going to have two binomials that when you multiply together give us this trinomial and we know that x times x gives us x squared right and now we have to find you know, two factors of the number 9 all right so the to way to um, find the other two numbers is to find two factors of the number 9 which is a c so two factors of c that when multiplied give us 9 and when added give us positive 6. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, look at the n factors of 9. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the factors of 9 right over here. So we have the factors of 9. So the factors of 9 are 1 and 9. We have 3 and 3. So these are the four factors. 1 times 9 gives us 9, but when added together, it gives us 10. So they, these are the two factors that we're not looking for. All right? And then we have 3 and 3. 3 times 3 does give us 9, and when added, does give us 6. So we're going to use the two factors, 3. So we have positive 3 and positive 3. All right, they're both going to be positive because b is greater than 0 and c is also greater than 0. All right, so now we're going to use the distribution method to multiply these two binomials to check to see if the our answer is right. So first we're going to go ahead and multiply x times x and x times 3. So x times x gives us x squared and x times 3 gives us positive 3x. And now I'm going to multiply 3 times x and 3 times 3. 3 times x gives us positive 3x, and 3 times 3 gives us positive 9. And when we combine these two, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. And that is the trinomial that we started off with. So this is the answer for when we solve this, factor out this trinomial. Alright, I mean, I'm sorry, that's not the answer. The answer is going to be x plus 3 and x plus 3. Or, you can go ahead and simply write x plus 3 squared. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight this in the box so even know that this is the answer. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.